That was an unbelievable question. We've had a lot of crazy things happen, and trust me, there's a lot of stuff that they don't show. Hey guys, it's Mouse from Bondi Rescue. I'm answering questions from fans all around the world. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Maddie. I'm 23 and I live in Fremantle. And I was wondering if you would rather be able to fly or breathe underwater? Maddie, that's an unbelievable question. Far out. When I was a kid, I'd be like, I would have said fly for sure. Now that I'm a lifeguard, it'd be make my job a lot easier to breathe underwater. But, oh yeah, no, nah. breathe underwater for sure. Yeah, definitely, good question. I'm a surfer, of course. Breathe underwater, leave the flying for Superman and that. I'd just like to breathe underwater. Good question. Got me into a really deep thought pattern there. I appreciate it. Hi, Bondi SQ. My name is Clara. I'm 22 and I'm from Egypt. My question is, if you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Hi Clara, thanks for your question. Um, it's a really good question. I love my traveling and um, to be honest, I've been lucky enough as a surfer to travel all over the world surfing in all sorts of places. And to be honest, one place I haven't been to before is Egypt and I'd love to come and check out your country. It looks amazing. So yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming to visit. <laughs> G'day guys, I'm Kieran, 23 from Fremantle. My question is, if you guys weren't lifeguards, what trade would you pick? Hey Kieran, how are you mate? Um, thanks for the question. Look, to be honest, I actually do have a trade. I'm an aircraft engineer by trade, so I still work doing that. I'm still work as a subby out at the airport, and uh, I love working out there on the airplanes. So if I'm not on the beach, I'm, I'm out there on the tools on the airplanes, and uh, I love it, mate. Hi, my name is Pamela. I'm 24 years old from Hartford, Connecticut in the US, and my question is, are there certain parts of your job as a lifeguard that we don't really get to see on Bondi Rescue? Hey Pamela, um, yes, for sure. Bondi Rescue shows the absolute pinnacle of the lifeguard service and trust me, there's a lot of stuff that they don't show. Um, but yeah, it's pretty mundane. We're talking about sweeping the floor, <laughs> fixing the broken machines, fueling the jet skis. What you don't see on Bondi Rescue a lot is the bonding that we do. We do a lot of like, we surf together, we go on trips together, we, we go out partying and have dinner and, and cafes and all that kind of thing together. So you don't see a lot of that on Bondi Rescue, but that's, um, that's a big part of our life um, away from the TV show. Hey, my name is Bridie, I'm 23 and I live in Frio. I was wondering what your favorite pizza toppings are. Hey Bridie, um, that's a really good question. There's a few of us um, down the beach that are pretty into our pizzas, especially Joel Bavalacqua. He's a mad pizza connoisseur. I'm, I go for everything on the pizza topping, everything. So whenever I have a pizza, it's supreme and, and anything else I can throw on the top. Very good question. Love it, made me hungry. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sammy and I've just finished my degree in counselling and mental health. <laughs> so my question for the lifeguards is, uh, do you have any geeky or interesting facts about lifeguarding, the ocean or the beach or anything like that? Sammy, thanks for the question. Great question. And I'll start by congratulating you on finishing your degree in um, mental health and counselling. And I am also a bit geeky and I love the question. I, I, one thing that maybe you don't know about the lifeguards or being a lifeguard is that it might seem like it's this like physical job where we're out in the water and rescuing people and all this kind of stuff but to be honest it's, it's a psychological job. The job is based around observation so all day long all we do is scan the environment and scan the people in the environment and we've got to read their behaviour, their body language. So it's all psychological and the best lifeguards are the ones that don't do the rescues because they can prevent them and you prevent the rescues by reading the people on the beach and that's all psychological. So you'd probably make a great lifeguard and we could do with a counsellor amongst us. So you're more than welcome to come down and um, apply. Hello, I'm Sophie, 25 years old and from Germany and I would like to know how and what do you eat during a lifeguard session? Sophie, great question. The question of food. Food is a massive aspect to the lifeguard's day-to-day -day workings. Um, myself, I'm a smoothie man in the morning. I like getting my fruits and my proteins and all that together in a smoothie, smash it up, and then we go training after training. 
It's like we're in the toast world then. We're moving as the sun get, comes up, it gets a bit warmer. We're getting a bit, you know, more solider food. We're going to toast world. I like avocado, lime, salt and pepper, some eggs. Mm, this is good, this is good, good question. And then um, I'm a bit of a mum's boy. Mum loves making me lunch occasionally. Every once in a while, mum brings down, like she loves making me these little quiches. Love a quiche from mum, so they're amazing. And then, yeah, and then we'll probably just settle in the afternoons. It'll be a slow afternoon, so it'll be a sugar hit. And I'll be going for like some sort of Cadbury choc like combination. I like to mix chocolate with nuts. Oh my God, what a good day of food so far. And then I do love to finish the day with a nice big bratwurst with sauerkraut. Mm, beautiful. Hi, my name is Thais. Uh, I'm 20 years old and I'm French. And my question for you was, uh, if you could have any special skill that one of your fellow uh, lifeguard has, what would it be? Whose would it be and why? Hi Thais, um, great question. Um, yes, for sure. There are a few lifeguards that have what we call in Australia a big engine, which means they have a huge lung capacity and they can train for an extraordinary amount of time. One of the lifeguards down the beach that I work with is Clint Kimmons and he's an Ironman and that guy has a massive engine. He can go for literally hours and hours of training and um, I can knock out one hour of training and I'm done for a day, but this guy can train for nine hours straight, he's a machine. So if I could steal anyone's secret power, it's Clint Kimmons' ability to just um, be an unstoppable machine. Hey Bana Rescue, my name is Matt and I am 21 years old and I'm living in Denmark, but soon in the United States. Like, what is the craziest thing you have been experiencing on the job? Hey Matt, thanks for the question, mate. One of the things that probably had the biggest effect on me was when we had a two-year-old girl drown down there. Amazingly enough, we were able to resuscitate her back to life. So that was a huge event for me. We've had a lot of crazy things happen, um, very long stories, but that particular moment down there for me was a big one. It was um, a life-changing thing when this uh, little two-year-old girl came back to life, so. Hi, my name is Linda, I live in Perth. My question for the lifeguards is, do you worry about spending so much time in the sun and getting skin cancer? Hey Linda. Thanks for the question, great question. We spend so much time in the sun and it's definitely a concern for all of us guys. Um, we do everything we can to protect ourselves. Long sleeve shirts, sunscreens, hats, sunnies. We definitely want to protect ourselves against cancer, but we also definitely want to protect ourselves against premature aging. So that's very important in our line of business and lifestyle. Hi, my name's Genevieve, I'm 21 and I'm from Santa Cruz, California. So here in Santa Cruz we have a lot of surfers, massive waves, tourists, and uh, really dangerous rip currents. Luckily the local kids for, for decades, from about the age of six onwards, participate in something called the Junior Lifeguards Program. So I was just curious, did any of you participate in something similar growing up in Australia like that program? G'day Genevieve, down at Bondi we have our own Lifeguard Academy and over the winter we run uh, like a Lifeguard Academy for about a month where we do things exactly what you were talking about swimming, CPR practice, rescues with the boards, jet ski training. We do all that stuff and then once we've put all the kids through the whole process, we choose one of those guys to be a trainee for a lifeguard for the entire season. So it's an awesome program that we run. I came onto the lifeguard scene a bit before that um, program had taken place. And um, for me, I didn't get that great opportunity with a lifeguard program, but now we've developed it and it's, a, it's an awesome program. Thanks for the question. That was so much fun, guys. Thank you for all the questions. I really enjoyed talking to everyone all over the world. And um, let's do it again sometime. This is Mouse signing out.